Okay, we're going to show you how to change the tow eye cover on the Freelander 2. Now, this tow eye cover, you can see here, that's the uh, original. We've got two types there. We've got it in just the plastic finish and the textured plastic finish, and we've got it in a bright chrome plated finish. And this actually fits on underneath the front bumper, okay? So it's this section here, okay? And we're going to show you how to remove that. Um, and that obviously exposes if you're going to tow the car. You you can just see the tow eye cover, but it, it gives you a better latch on that if, you're, if your car's being recovered. Okay, they do fall off and they do go missing, so the replacements are useful and the chrome adds an extra bit of style. Now, there's two types of Freelander 2 here. You can see the early one there with the round fog light, and the later one there with the square bezel around the fog light. The tow eye cover is the same on both. Okay, so even though they've got the different front bumpers, the tow eye cover is the same. So this will fit both versions, right? So if I just pass the camera over to K, right. Now to, to remove it, what you've got is, I'll show you on these before we go underneath. You've got this, these turns and they've got the flat head and it's just a quarter turn fastening. So you literally just spin in and it locks in. Okay, so let me put those to the side. So if you look under the car, you can see the fixing. So the, the slot runs front to back in the same direction you would drive the car normally. To unlock it, put it so it's side to side. Do the same on the other one. Okay. And then it literally just pops down. Okay. And it, it's you've got to pop it down first and then these little tongues are located up under the bumper okay so that's the old one removed and i'll just show you the chrome one fitted okay so you get the tongues in first along the the edge you've got to work your way along because some of them okay like so and then you get the fastening okay and then you, you just turn those so they're in the in the direction of the car Where they align, okay, just lock those into place. Okay. So again, you've got to push them up so that they they mate with the with the thing. And, that's that. and then if we just take a look, a look back. Okay, you can see that then. We've got that fitted under the car.